Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Another petrified fish on the table today. This is the PFB01 Terra. Now, before I get too far into this, I'm going to tell you this thing sells for like $32.99. Um, the reason I tell you that is because I recently uh, did a video of a, of a knife that was sent to me from an Amazon company. Um, a name that I really hadn't heard of before. And in that video, I said there's a lot of competition in this price range, that 30 to 35-ish price range. And in my opinion, right now, Petrified Fish might have that area. They're at the top, in my opinion. I mean, yes, have they been sending me knives? Absolutely. They've been sending me some fantastic knives to check out. And I've talked to several people about this subject. And Petrified Fish really, really is. Um, they're pushing the top of this budget knife line. But back to the tarot. We'll just take a look at it real quick. Now, there's two different models of this one. You've got the black G10 with a satin blade. And then you have a green uh, my Carta version with a stonewashed blade. So those are your two options. You do have a G10 backspacer in there. Stainless liners, of course. A deep carry. It wants to be a deep carry clip, but as you can see there, it's not overly deep. You do have some sticking out of your pocket. Lanyard hole for sure. Not lefty friendly. If that's the one thing I can say is I wished there was, I wish they were a little more lefty friendly. Uh, for those of you out there that are left-handed, Sorry, this one is not, but um, if that would be a place where they could improve, if there is a place they can improve, that would definitely be it. A little bit, make the knives a little bit more lefty friendly. Without a doubt, I'm right there with you. Mostly open, like I said, it's about, oh, 75% open with that G10 backspacer. Um, nice contouring on the handle. I like it. Very good. You've definitely got some a little bit. It's not too contour, but it's definitely got some. There you go. Right there. Oh, let's check the centering. It's pretty much dead nuts on. Absolutely. Flipper, as you can see, you do have some jimping there on the flipper tab. Everything is chamfered off very nicely. Very well done. Liners aren't really letterbox. They kind of look like they might be, but it's not. They're pretty. They're pretty. Yeah, they're pretty flush. Pretty flush. Now, screws are pretty darn well countersunk. As we saw in the pocket clip, not recessed pocket clip screws. I would say that would be one more step where they could, you know, up their game a little bit, I guess. Is it that bad? No, you have plenty of room there. It's not an issue, but I just think the recessed screws look a little better. But overall, haha, <laughs> yeah, buddy. So, flipper. Detent is on point, in my opinion. Look at the action. Very, very good action. Riding on bearings, of course. Definitely, yeah. Very, very good action. D2 blade, like I said, the black G10 is satin finished. As you can see there, without getting blinded too bad. <laughs> you do have a swedge across the spine. You do have a little bit of jimping. Now, for me, if there's going to be jimping, I'd like to see it out just a little bit further. You know, it, it would, does it absolutely need it? No, it doesn't. But if there's going to be some, I'd just like to see it out, you know, out until the swedge starts, maybe. I think that would be beneficial rather than back where it's at. Can you choke up? Absolutely. You can trigger that flipper tab. Now, obviously, it's not a choil per se, a forward finger choil, but you can definitely, you know, trigger that flipper tab and get forward on the knife really really like that blade shape you know pretty much a well i guess we call it a high flat into that swedge but it's full flat up here very nice i like a full flat grind myself that's just me though so what do we got as far as specs go overall one two three four five six seven eight i'm looking at about eight and a quarter Fully open about a four and three quarter ish inch handle, which is going to give you right about a three and a half inch blade. Cutting edge is just shy of three and a half. 
Got a very good cutting edge on it. Good lengthy one. Grip length, you're looking at eh, pretty much right about four inches on your grip length. And that's how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand. As you can see, I have plenty of room left over. So those of you with a little bit larger hands, I think you'd be okay on that one. And even choking up on that choil, obviously that's going to give you a lot more room for your hands. So let's get our size comparisons out here. Of course, we're going to throw out, where'd it go? There it is. I found it. There is our PM2. So overall, they're pretty close. Pretty, ooh. Yeah, I tell you what. Man, the PM2's got it by just a hair on the blade. Obviously, the Terra is going to have a longer cutting edge. Terra actually might have the handle. Might have it. It's close. It's really close. And, of course, we'll throw out the bug out. Just because it's what we do. Obviously, it's a much larger knife than the bug out. We will get... Our scale out and get a weight on it. Does have a little bit of heft for sure. Yeah, 5.1 ounces. So it's got a little bit of beef behind it. Not a bad thing. In and out of pocket. Clip is a little tight, not too bad. And like I said, you've got that loop over. It wants to be deep carry, but you do have a little bit sticking out. Not too bad. I mean, you're right about that half ish, you know, half inch. So nothing too dramatic. A little bit out of the pocket. Like I said, that clip's, the clip's stout. So it goes in and out of the pocket fine, and it's got very, very good retention, without a doubt. So overall, what do I think? Well, it might be a new line, but it's definitely petrified fish. It's petrified fish quality, and what do I mean by that? Guys, I haven't seen one of these knives yet that has been... There's been a couple that have been odd designs, but as far as the build quality has gone... They've all been very, very well done. And this Terra, obviously I can only speak for the one I have in my hand, is done very, very well. Like I said, everything is chamfered off. It's not sharp where it shouldn't be, and it's sharp everywhere it should be. Right there, baby. Now, that pocket clip. I was a little concerned with it because it does stand a little high and it does turn up. For my hand, it lands at me pretty darn well. It's, I know it's there, but it's not a hot spot. It's not an issue for me. Um, that three and a half inch blade length does very well at work. I had no issues. Um, it'll do some pretty hefty jobs. It's got a lot of beef behind it. Like I said, you've got a little bit of weight behind it. Fills my hand up very well. Now, you guys know I kind of like to carry, you know, something more like a bug out or something like that. I'm, I tend to be on the smaller side with my EDC knives, but this one kind of, this one can solve both problems, EDC and work knife. Now you got a pretty good access to your liner lock there. That's not an issue. Petrified Fish is doing some good stuff, guys. I am I have been pretty pleased with every single one. Now, like I said, there's been a couple that have been like, the, the design have been like, okay, this is a little something different, but hey, build quality never Never been an issue on any of these knives. And like I said, the Terra, absolutely no different. That thing's a dropper, man. Holy cow. Now, very cool. I'll put links down in the description if you guys want to check them out. Um, man, I don't think Brian over at Blue Creek has these in, but I might have to see if he could get some. I think they do pretty well for him. He's got a, as a matter of fact, he just had a pretty good restock of petrified fish. Got a lot of the belugas. Oh, he's got some Victors and all of that. I think I might have to talk him into getting a couple of Terras and see what he thinks. But anyway, um, another really solid knife, guys. Really, really solid petrified fish. Like I said, in that, in this price range, and what I mean by this price range is I'm definitely going to say that $30 to $45 range. Yeah, it's G10, it's D2, it's a lot of, we see it a lot. But I tell you what, petrified fish is doing it pretty darn well in my opinion so there you go tell me what you think down in the description you guys have petrified fish knives if you do do you like them do you not like them tell me your, let me know what you think as always thanks again to petrified fish 
for sending this one out. Absolutely, greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate you guys stopping by and checking it out with me today. As always, thanks so much, guys. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later, guys. Bye-bye.